is at the door. So when you step inside, jump on the floor. Let's get it crunk up on that fun up on up in this dancery. We got y'all open, now you're floating. So you got to dance for me. Don't need no hate. Welcome to another video. I'm excited to be sharing with you this training video with you guys, with some of the guys from the Seattle area and they were kind enough to invite me to do a training session in the gym near Renton. And we got a special guest, Warren, who is a calisthenics expert in the LA area. And he was kind enough to, you know, show us the ropes in terms of calisthenics. And right now we're working on some handstands. We're actually doing some 90 degree holds to work on our stabilizing muscles, our core, our shoulders, our triceps, and just being that sticking point where, you know, we might get stuck doing handstand push-ups and we're like, okay, we can't get back up. So we're all trying to hold this for about 15, 20 seconds. And honestly, this is a great exercise to build some strength. After the 90 degree holds, we started doing our next movement, which is a negative handstand push-up. So what we're doing is going from a handstand, taking three seconds to descend to the handstand position, almost close to the 90 degree or even further, and doing this for about three reps for about three to four sets. And everything we're doing is around three sets and trying to go as hard as possible and trying to max out on everything. Bro, I was already gassed from doing the 90 degree push-ups, so doing these three, two, one, you know, negative handstand push-ups were really tough and it's already hard enough to push up from the bottom. So all we're doing is resetting, resting up for about one or two seconds and coming back down three, two, one. You can see that I'm getting a little bit gassed because I already did two to three sets and we're doing three reps every set. Oh, shit. there you go. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I'll, I'll do the rest. Okay. Come on. Jeez. Nice, dude. Sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> So after fooling around a little bit, getting some content for, for the gram, we started working on some front levers. So we're going from a hanging position all the way to a full front lever. We're gonna do three reps and doing about three rounds. And for me, I had to bring it down the intensity and go back to some regressions. So I started doing these half lay front levers, doing the same thing about three to four reps. I think we did five reps here and we're doing about three sets here just to build some more gains and control in our lats, our core, and our hips. My, my biggest problem right now is my hips and bringing that all the way up. And you know, we're taking about three to four minutes to rest and we're, we're having a good time here. Some of these guys here that I've been training with are really good at what they do and they've been training about you know three to four years in the calisthenics game. I've been doing about two, three years on yards to three years. And, you know, I have a lot to learn. And this is something that calisthenics has taught me is that it's a patience game. You know, you have to be consistent. If you really want to get after it, you got to train, you know, every single day or every single week and, and just focus on training intensity, recovery, and doing the best you can. And now we're moving on to front lever, half lays, and holding it for about three seconds. Yo, these got my lats on fire. Um, you can see that my 
form is uh, not doing so great after the first rep. And then at the last one, I'm like, bro, I can only hold it for, you know, a minute. And everyone's just doing their own thing, trying to progress. And we got my guy Blue here using the bands to really focus on these holds. And, bro, this guy is a freaking beast, bro. He's, like, over 200 pounds, you know, trying to get down to, a, like, a 190. But he's, he's getting it in, right? You don't have to be some small guy doing calisthenics. There's always <laughs> progressions that we can work on. And, and, you know, it's a good time to, to have fun. Once we're done quote unquote warming up we're working on some of our full skills so i'm working on the straddle front lever and these are you know my best progression that i can do the the full front lever isn't my strongest point yet um the straddle has been a lot easier for me i mean that includes you know straddle handstands straddle front levers and also straddle you know planches and you know warren he's a freaking beast he's doing wide grip front levers and he's holding it for about one to two seconds here which is nice. super on. impressive my guy has been in the game for so long and he's been you know super strong in the front lever it's something that comes naturally and sometimes it comes naturally to some people and it takes longer for others so we're just working on Jeez. some progressions here <sighs> After being gassed from doing all those front levers, we're moving some planche progressions. We're doing elevated planche push-ups, and then we're doing some, I guess, planche leans and lifting our legs. I'm not really sure what they're called, but these are something that I've never trained. And here, Alex is crushing it, holding it for like one to one and a half seconds off the ground. And I tried doing the straddle here. And it's already tough enough to bring my, my feet up. Um, my butt is so high in the air trying to get it up. I need to make sure my back is actually straight. It might be my tight hips as well. And Warren is showing us another variation with a one-legged you know, variation. And I'm gonna start training these once I am strong enough. And I definitely need to go back to some regressions to work on my planche strength. And this is something I've been lacking. You can see here, I can barely get my feet up the ground and keep hold for like one to two seconds, something I definitely need to work on. Um, not something I'm used to, so I have to work on my progressions. And this is the great thing about calisthenics. There's so many different ways to train and improve your skills. So we're gonna move on to a different regression using these bands. So Warren is demonstrating using the bands and performing the planche push-ups um, tucked and using a band is great for progression especially holding any position for a long period of time and then we moved on to a higher parallel to go deeper on these planche push-ups and you get a really good stretch in the chest and and i wanted to try a new movement so i tried these half lay one legged lay planches not sure what this called but it's practically one knee is tucked and then one knee is going to be half lay just practicing trying to get into that position to do a full straddle planche and these are tough so afterwards we had alex and some of the guys do some advanced planche pushups it's so freaking cool <laughs> and that's the end of this training session with the guys had a lot of fun bro i was sore after this man it was it was a great workout it was great seeing the guys again and to meet warren as always showing us the ropes and yeah we just had a lot of fun got to catch up and we spent about two hours just training so if you guys like the video make sure you like the video subscribe we're almost at a thousand subs and make sure you click that notification bell see you guys in the next video